What's up, yo? Big Cat 305 here. Today we are making corned beef hash on the Blackstone. That's right, corned beef hash. You can make this for breakfast, lunch, dinner, whatever. As long as it's done right, it is good. Crispy on the outside, nice and soft on the inside, and that sunny side egg on top just bubbling all over. Oh my God. Looking forward to it. So if you're new to the channel, I want to thank you for stopping by. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and ring that notification bell. And if you're a current subscriber, thank you for all your support. Keep hitting that thumbs up and keep commenting down below. Everybody, let's get cooking. First ingredient, we are going to start off with a medium to large size onion. We are going to slice this sucker up. Actually, we're going to dice this up pretty fine. I uh, just want to get that cover off and nothing crazy here. We're just going to peel off the skin and get it all prepped up so we can dice it up. And we're going to go a little fast here, but cut it in half. Cut with the grain here. And then we're going to cut against the grain to make nice minced garlic. Okay, that's kind of what we want. Uh, no, I wouldn't say minced, really chopped. Like a fine chop is, is kind of the way to say it. Um, and then do the second one. I'm sorry, the second half. Boom, boom, boom. And this is what it looks like. Beautiful. So moving on, we have our potatoes. And potatoes, right? Two russet potatoes and boom, they are peeled. <laughs> I didn't want to bore you guys. So we peel the potatoes and we are going to cut these up in about a half inch cubes, okay? Uh, I cut them a little bit bigger first and then I kind of went smaller, again, speeding it up. Uh, the reason why I go smaller is because if you want to cook these on, if you want to pre-cook them, you can go as big as you want. But cooking them on the Blackstone, the smaller you dice them, the quicker they cook. Okay, so there's a little tip there. And then you want to put them in some nice cold water. That's going to keep them from getting all brown and nasty looking. So here we go after we chop them up and here's what they look like. So you can put them in that water and they will sit there for quite a long time until you are ready to throw them on the Blackstone. And that's it. Next ingredient is our corned beef in a can. And this is the one I got here. And then just a couple of eggs to go on top. Very, very simple. So Blackstone is ready to go. And getting that oil nice and heated up to put down our potatoes. The potatoes cook first. So those are the ones that we want to put, I'm sorry, they take the longest to cook, so we put the potatoes down first. So once we get them down there, you can hear that sizzling. I got these on about a medium heat, medium to medium high. Um, you really want to cook them on like a medium, because they're, they're raw, so they're going to take a little bit longer to cook. I would say potatoes this size probably take about a good 10 minutes before they're com fully cooked. And the goal here is to get them, oh, we're going to add some spices here, some salt, pepper, garlic, and some other stuff. Uh, but the goal here is to get them nice and crispy brown on the outside and nice and soft on the inside. So we add some pepper. So the, so the reason why I say that is if you put them on high, you're going to get them nice and crispy brown on the outside, but they're going to be hard as a rock on the inside, and you're going to have a problem. If you cook them on too low, then they're not going to get crispy on the outside, and they're going to be kind of like mushy by the time they're done. So you kind of want to have a nice, happy medium. we got some garlic powder we're going to add in there as well. You want to season these up really good. Uh, these potatoes can take a lot, quite a bit of seasoning here. And then some smoked paprika. I love smoked paprika. It gives it a great flavor and the color. I love it for the color, but the flavor tastes great as well. So not too much, but just enough to give it that nice little red tint to it. And it makes it look really nice. And that's it. Just kind of want to mix these all together and get those spices uh, on, kind of on all sides of the potatoes. Try not to lose too many of them. <laughs> so you get them all nice and, and uniform. And then we are going to cover them with our new little mini grill dome. 
and we're going to steam them up a little bit. Again, no rush here. We don't want to cook them too fast. We don't want to cook them too slow. We kind of want right in the middle. So we add a little bit of water and cover them up. And after about uh, four or five minutes, we're going to check them. Here we go, four or five minutes. I have not touched them. And you can see, boom, the bottom is getting that brown crispy. Looking good. Here's a little close up. You can see the that beautiful dark brown coming on there. And that's kind of what we're looking for. But we want to try to get that more incorporated all over. And like I said, have them completely done on the inside. And once you do this a few times, you'll know. You'll know how long it takes. So that's it. We move them over, get them out of the way. We make some more real estate so we can cook some other things on the griddle. A little bit more water, cover them up. Again, it takes time to cook these. So now on the left side of the griddle, we are going to put down our onions. So a little bit of oil, move it around, get it nice and spread out, and then our nice finely chopped, not too fine, but chopped onions. Just kind of mix them around, get them spread out so they're evenly touching the, the blackstone surface. And these cook pretty quick, so there's no need to cook these on their own too much. I'm just kind of giving them a little bit of a catch up for the, um, for the potatoes. So potatoes are looking good. Again, we flip them again. It's kind of a continuous thing. Keep flipping them, and now you can see them. They're really starting to get brown on all sides, and that's kind of what you're looking for there. And then we incorporate the onions in the potatoes. And the onions will cook up nicely with these all mixed up together. Because like I said, they don't take long at all. Mix them all up. Get them all nice and friendly. <laughs> hey, Mr. Potato. Hey, Mr. Onion. How are you? I'm great. <laughs> now they're potatoes of Brian. All right. So looking good. Move them out of the way. And... Leave room for the next step. But first, we're going to cover them again. Again, potatoes are not done. I checked them. So keep covering them until they get done. But you can see they're still getting hashy, right? Hashy on the bottom, nice and brown. So a little bit more oil there on the left. And it's time to add our corned beef hash from the bottom of the can. Luckily, Miss Big Cat helped me out here. <laughs> I haven't done this in so long. Uh, we did not poke the top, so the vacuum did not break. So I kind of had to get a knife to get it out. No big deal. <laughs> kind of made it more fun. And that's it. You, you, However you want to get that corned beef out of there, get it out. And then you just kind of want to chop it up. Spoon is better. I switched. And just get yourself a good size spoon and break this corn beef up. It's really soft meat, but you don't want big old clumps. You kind of want them like a hash, you know, uh, spread out a little bit, mixed up. And the goal here is to just, just to get it warm before we kind of incorporate it with the potatoes and onions. So it's got fat in it, so it'll, it'll bring out its own oils. And um, I know I put down a little bit of oil, but it's okay. Just a little. And that's it. You just keep working it, and it looks good. Just like that. So then we flip it over after a couple minutes just to kind of see what it looks like. And you can see it's already starting to crisp up. That's it. We don't want to crisp these by themselves. We want to crisp these with the potatoes and onions so we are going to mix these together 
but let me check it first. I would like to make sure the potatoes are done first before I mix them together. And they are. So boom, there we go. We mix them together with the corned beef. Now, here you want to be careful. You do not want to just start going crazy mixing these because at this point, the potatoes are done. They are crispy on the outside, nice and soft on the inside. But if you go nuts and just start going like a, a crazy person, <laughs> you're going you're gonna to have mashed potatoes and it's just going to look like a big old mess. So you want to kind of keep the integrity of the potatoes, the shape that you work so hard to get them in those little cubes. Uh, it does not have to be perfect and you don't want it to be perfect because it's a hash. But you also don't want it to look like a mess. So um, you just kind of want to mix them all together just like that. We're going to add a little bit of oregano. I'm sorry, not oregano. We're going to add a little parsley flakes uh, just for some color. And that's it. You let them sit. I let them sit there for about three or four minutes and then turn them over. And you can see them starting to get dark. You can see that corned beef starting to get dark and that crustiness. And this is what you're going for. So you're going to do the same thing I just did and repeat. Put them together. Let them sit. Chill out for three or four minutes. Turn. Get more crust. And every time you do that, you get more crust on the outside. Here we go. Do it again. Boom. Get nice and dark. More crust. Oh, look at that. A little close up. That's what you're looking for right there. That is beautiful. I mean, look at the, <laughs> and the smell coming off this griddle right now. Oh, my goodness. Absolutely insane. So, again, spread them out. I moved them over and make a little bit of room so we can uh, cook up our eggs. And spread them out. So there's still a couple spots there that are a little, little chunky and not crisp, so... A little bit more oil for the eggs. Spread them out. And then I like to take real butter and add just a little bit of real butter right on top of that oil to give those eggs some flavor. Just like this. Oh, yeah. I actually turned off the griddle, as you can see, at this point because it's really hot at this point. So you don't want to burn the eggs. And I like them sunny side up anyway so it takes a little time I just plop them down one at a time there's the first one I'm like please don't break the yolk <laughs> and I'm pretty good about this and I did not break the yolk there you go so two eggs down bring those suckers back in make them look pretty and that's it I mean the hash browns I'm sorry the corned beef hash is done the eggs are sunny side up. We're going to cover these eggs. First, we're going to put a little salt and a little pepper. We're going to cover them for uh, about a minute just to get them cooked. And that is it. Let's go check them out. The beautiful sunny side egg on top let me tell you super easy to do on the blackstone very little prep very little ingredients not too much seasoning and I am ready to dig in but first we're gonna give you a quick close-up and if you notice I'm bringing my fork with me because 
we gotta see that egg on oh yeah that's what I'm talking about right there so let's give that a taste all right <laughs> I'm so excited okay let's go let's just try the corned beef hash first mmm Mm -mm. Crispy on the outside, nice and fluffy on the inside, nice and soft on the inside. The potatoes are cooked perfectly. The onion give it, gives it a nice little sweet flavor. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Muy delicioso. All right, let's try it with some egg. That's my favorite. Nice big chunk of egg in there. Mmm. Oh my goodness. That egg just takes it over the top. If you have not tried this, this is an old school dish. Many people my age and up have probably had it before when we were kids. <laughs> but if you haven't tried it, give it a shot. It is so delicious. It is ultimate comfort food. Super easy to do give it a shot. Everybody, thank you for watching, liking, subscribing, and commenting, and we'll keep on cooking. Big Cat, out.